afternoon. I just had an idea for a coding project, so let's get to work. Pretty simple. We need a microblog service kind of like this, something that'll fit things that are in between tweets in length and actual full length blog posts. It's just a microblog, and that's gonna need a few different components. We're gonna need a front end. We're gonna need a database for that front end to pull stuff from. And then we're gonna need a way for me to somehow interact with the database in the front end. And the way I've decided to do that is through a Telegram bot. I will communicate through the Telegram bot which will then send stuff over to the database. And then we're gonna be able to have a fully functioning application that's better than this diagram. You might be wondering why I'm using the Telegram API instead of the Twilio API, and there's a few good reasons. First of all, for Twilio, it charges a lot of money for every text message you send, and Telegram is completely free for any bots you create. On that note, I could have also probably made a Discord bot, but I saw somebody else do this with a Telegram bot, so I was like, I might as well just yoink that completely, but here's some credit on the screen for that. The reason is I'm always on my phone, and it's pretty easy to just like come up with ideas, type them out on my phone, and then send over to send them over to the bot for easy access to be seen later. Done some work for the project, like actually setting up the database and front end, but as you can see, I haven't worked on it in a while. There is only one thing left to work on. Okay, implementation wise, I think it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna write a Node.js Telegram bot that whenever I text the bot on my phone, it'll update the database. And then when I go to the actual website, they'll pull from the database and I'll have all my thoughts there organized nicely. The basic of the bot is set up like this, just the tutorial. I set up the tutorial and now it's time to get to work on actually coding up the functionality. I'm just gonna add a slash thought command and that'll upload stuff to the database whenever I send it to the bot. That's it. All right, I have the bot working in like its infant stages if I can only find the hit button. All right, we send it with a backslash thought command and then just refresh it that it can fetch from the DB again. And boom, it shows up like we need it to. But there are a few problems with it. Right now it's making it so that the oldest message is at the top. I want the newest message at the top, but that's fine. That's a quick change on the front end. And other than that, I actually haven't deployed the bot yet. So I'm gonna go do that really quickly and then we're done. The bot is successfully deployed. finished the build, which is dope, and there weren't any errors. Project done, it honestly took a lot quicker than I thought it would. I procrastinated a lot in between that you didn't see. I just like scrolled through TikTok for hours because like I was just waiting for stuff to build, but everything is now done, which means I can get to some life maintenance chores. While my laundry dries, I'm going to eat pasta that I made for lunch and there was a ton left over, so I'm eating it for dinner and watch some Curb Your Enthusiasm. Then I'm gonna fold my laundry and then figure out what I wanna do with the rest of the night. The Lakers lost, which is sad, but it's only 3-0. They can, they can still pull a reverse sweep and win the series. Uh, I'm, I'm coping. But what time is it right now? It's like 8 p.m. I don't know how much more work I'm gonna be able to get done today, or even if I want to get any work done, it's Saturday night. So I think I'm just gonna chill out, maybe like play around with GPT. I got access to plugins today, so I might play around with that. Working on the project today made me think about a few things, namely that procrastination is really stupid and you should almost never do it because I procrastinated putting the finishing touches on it for about two weeks and in reality it really took me at max an hour of actual focused work. That's insane that I procrastinated for that long and I could have felt more happy with a completed project a lot quicker. So if you're procrastinating on a coding project out there, don't procrastinate, just get to work on it right now, finish it, get an MVP done and you'll feel a lot better. Another thing I was thinking about was how easy it is to finish projects now that you have tools like ChatGPT and other AI assistants at your disposal every single day. As soon as you can come up with an actual solution and you describe it to ChatGPT, it'll point you in the right direction to implementing it in code, even if it's not even close to the correct thing in the first place. Relay.org is the best place to learn math and science online interactively. There's tons of cool courses in math, science, and computer science, and every single one of these courses helps you build your problem solving skills really well. Brilliant makes sure that you're understanding the concepts and not just memorizing them by presenting the concepts through interactive quizzes that challenge you and make sure you're actually understanding the material. But if you ever need help, it's easily available through really nice hints. One of my favorite recent courses has been Perplexing Probability because of how interesting the puzzles are. If you're even mildly interested in problem solving and, and probability, then you definitely 
need to check it out. It's awesome. There's tons of cool situations and you get a lot better at problem solving and probability by going through the course. If you're more interested in computer science like I am, then also definitely check out the Algorithm Fundamentals course. I've been saying this forever, but it's great if you're interested in computer science and wanting to learn how to program. It definitely sets you up for success in the field. There's also lots of cool other courses like in AI and reinforcement learning and neural networks if you want to try that. And there's a ton of other amazing courses that you should definitely go check out in their catalog. If you want to try it out right now with a 30 day free trial, go to brilliant.org slash debate. I've also left a link in the description and the first 200 of you to click the link will get 20% off your first annual subscription. Enjoy. With all of that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. Tell me what to build in the comments and I definitely will try my best to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.